Hi, my name's Joe. We just finished up a uh, second truck for Cortland Township. It's a sister truck. It's exactly the same as the first one we did. And we're just gonna highlight some of the cool things. Uh, we added a bumper guard and a wench mounting system to this. And we also put in emergency lights that are all uh, custom sequenced in the front. And they all are controlled there in the console. We have a Wheelin Liberty 2 light bar up top, very nice light bar. We added some custom features to the, the cap here. Um, we have a Shoreline, so 110 inlet that goes to a charger and it charges the battery in this truck. We, you can, as you can see here, we have some warning lights throughout the cap and then also scene lights up top with uh, angle brackets to put them in the proper uh, angle. Up here we have an Argus, Wheeling Argus light. Um, that's a remote spotlight. That's all, um, it's all user interface uh, within the console area. Uh, up here we have a dominator that shines really nice through the through the glass, all custom mounted up here. Very, very rigid and reliable. I added some gussets here to, to the inside of the toolboxes in this cap. For these lights, it actually shored up a lot of this, um, this toolbox area, made it more rigid. Now these lights here, I'm gonna turn them on. They're very bright, they're activated they were shut off by that switch, but they're activated when you open the top or uh, back glass. Everything's loomed and as you can see, ran very cleanly throughout, um, no snags. Over here, we have where our 110 comes into a box, GFI protected outlet onto a little uh, receptacle strip then this, uh, this is the area where they, they would charge their, uh, their batteries on the 110. Over here in this corner, I have a protected 12 volt um, inlet and this is all their um, flashlights are hooked up to this and they all charge through the 12 volt. Everything's mounted through. There's no, this stuff is not going anywhere. Up here you can see the other Argus remote Spotlight, uh, as we get into the cab and look at the console, I can show you how those things are controlled. Here we have the console set up. We have a opening because we pre-wire it for the customer, uh, the customer's radio that they install uh, themselves. And then here's our main switch interface. We have um, options to turn just the light bar on. We have the rest of the flashers, the flashers around the body of the truck and on the cap. And then this one is just the front bar, the front uh, bumper bar. Um, so you have different options there. You have left scene, you have front scene, right scene. These scene lights also utilize some of the white diodes in the light bar itself. So we're able to turn those on steady burn and add to the scene lighting. Here you have the traffic advisor arrows and then also cruise lighting, which is very cool for parades and whatnot, just cruising around town. Um, here you have your Argus interfaces. Uh, both of these are programmed um, to, to operate each of the light heads up top individually. There's many options you could do with these. They're super cool. Uh, this joystick, this light tells you which way your light head is facing. This joystick um, just turns the light head itself. Uh, you can go 360, doesn't matter. And then when you're done, you hit home. The light head parks itself and goes into a home position. All of this is on a master switch per customer request. Everything will turn on and off with a master switch. 
also too with the ignition so that they work in conjunction the ignition itself is a, is the main master but then this gives you an extra level of uh, turning on and off a lot of times you'll see with custom consoles um, you'll see wires coming in and out uh, of different various uh, parts of the console different um, punch outs and things here You'll see it's very clean. I have no wiring going in or, in or out. Everything is contained and comes up through the bottom. There's a lot going on inside this console. There's fuse panel, there's uh, a couple relays and, and different, um, different aspects to make it work reliably and the way it should. Here in the back of the console, there's an open spot on these, on these um, there used to be a vent here. We make this custom plate. We add 12 volt outlets and then also um, pipe in the, the rear HVAC for, so they, they're able to utilize that still. We use only the highest quality wiring and wiring terminals. I double waterproof everything, if not sometimes triple waterproof. Um, Everything is loomed and protected and, and ran in a very uh, uh, deliberate manner. In the interest to keep this build very reliable, we add breakers to everything, uh, including the front wench and then the emergency lights. Also, under the console, there'll be a separate breaker too, um, along with fuses and a fuse panel. Everything's fully protected and it's made for the long haul. Every single drill or tap has ek on it, and ek is a dissimilar metal compound that is used to help with corrosion. Each individual hole is reamed and also protected from rust. So if I drill the hole in this vehicle, there's virtually no um, chance that it's going to be a source of rust in the future. This thing goes down the road and it's going through like five Michigan winters. And when it looks exactly the same after five Michigan winters and you don't see bubbling behind the lights or you don't see weird stuff happening with the wiring or just uh, general mounting, then um, that's the difference. It, it, it lasts the life of the truck. Hope you enjoyed the walk around. Uh, customers on their way and we're very excited to deliver. Thanks.